What's up guys, it's Susie Bullock from HeyGrillHey.com and if you're watching this video, that means we already have something in common. We both love barbecue and that's perfect because at Hey Grill Hey, my whole goal is to help you make better barbecue so you can feed the people you love and become a backyard barbecue hero. Today I'm showing you my recipe for grilled asparagus. It sounds simple, but I have some tips and tricks to make this one of your most utilized side dishes. For this recipe, you only need to plan about 18 minutes total, 10 minutes of prep time, eight minutes on the grill. With one bunch of asparagus, you can plan to feed about four to five people. For this recipe, you'll need a one pound bundle of asparagus, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, two cloves of minced garlic, a couple tablespoons of olive oil, and the zest and juice of one lemon. Let's get started by prepping our asparagus. When you buy asparagus from the store, it usually ends with this lighter tips on the bottom. It gets a little woody right here and a little bit stringy and a little bit chewy. You don't wanna eat it and we need to get rid of it. The best way to do that is by using your fingers and creating a little bit of pressure where it snaps. That's where the woodiness stops. You can lay it down next to the rest of your asparagus and use it as a guide to trim the ends off the whole bunch. It's usually about the bottom inch and a half to two inches of the asparagus stem. Now it's time to season our asparagus. I just drizzle with a little bit of olive oil, about one to two tablespoons, and then use my hands to make sure it's evenly coated on each of the asparagus stems. Once these are evenly coated, we're gonna season them with salt and black pepper. Next, we sprinkle over our minced garlic. And zest our lemon. Last step is that lemon juice. Cut it in half, squeeze it right over the top of your asparagus. This is actually one of the first dishes I taught my daughter Autumn how to make. She loves grilled asparagus and it's so simple. She makes it on her own all the time. There's actually a local TV news station that was having a cooking with kids segment and she went and cooked this grilled asparagus on TV. She was only eight years old and I was so proud. <laughs> It's important to really toss your asparagus in that seasoning because you wanna make sure that the flavors are consistent for each piece. The asparagus is all coated, it's time to head out to the grill. I've already got it preheated. We're shooting for a high temperature about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna put our asparagus directly on the grill grates. You wanna make sure to lay them perpendicular to the grates. Now don't go anywhere, this is only gonna take a couple of minutes. Now I'm doing mine over charcoal, but a gas grill works perfectly also. So your asparagus is actually gonna turn a really vibrant green, and then you'll start to get those nice char marks on the outside. Don't be afraid of a little bit of char on asparagus, it's fantastic. What you don't wanna do is cook them to the point where they start to shrivel, because then they're overdone. We eat asparagus year round, but our favorite time to eat it is actually in the spring. That's when it's in season. It's really affordable in the grocery store and I think it tastes the sweetest. You can honestly serve this with anything, but my favorite things to serve it with are things like salmon or steak. What we'll do is throw the asparagus on to cook for those last eight to 10 minutes while our main protein is inside resting. These are looking perfect. I absolutely love that little amount of char that we got right on the tips of the asparagus. It does amazing things for the flavor, but also that little crunch in the texture. Let's head on inside. Don't eat all these asparagus. I know it's my favorite. Mm. Oh, where's Autumn? This is her thing. I know, this is a Bullock family classic. We serve it with steaks, we serve it with salmon, we serve it with shrimp, we serve it with pretty much any dinner that we're cooking outside on the grill. You can almost guarantee this asparagus is gonna be right alongside wow. it. That's so good. It's always good. It's a classic, it's a staple, and it'll turn out perfectly for you. If you make this at home, leave a comment and let us know what you thought about it. Better yet, snap a photo, post it online, use the hashtag HeyGrillHey. That way, Todd and I can see it and cheer you on in your journey to becoming a backyard barbecue hero.